In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to first install Blockstream Green on your phone. Second, how to set up a Bitcoin wallet using Blockstream Green without a hardware wallet. And three, how to receive Bitcoin. And finally, four, how to send Bitcoin. Let's get started. Okay, guys, so the first thing we'll do is go to blockstream.com slash green. I'll put the link to this website in the descriptions. Next, we're going to click on the Download Now button. The website should automatically recognize which OS we're on and lead us to the proper app store. From there on, we'll click on Download and Install and wait for the app to finish installing on our phone. Once the app finishes installing, we're going to click Open. We're then greeted with a splash screen for Blockstream Green. All we have to do here is to click I agree to the terms of service and privacy policy. We're then asked by Blockstream whether we would like them to collect some data from our usage of the app. In case you're wondering what kind of data is collected while we use the app, you can pause the video here and have a look for yourself. But don't worry, even if you did select to allow them to collect data on your behalf, you can always turn off this option later on. Next, we're asked how we would like to secure our funds. We have two options here. One is on this device and one is on hardware wallet. Now, since this is a tutorial to teach you guys how to use the wallet without a hardware wallet, we're going to pick on this device. Now we're ready to create our own Bitcoin wallet. Click on the new wallet button. For this part of the video, we're going to need a piece of paper and a pen or pencil. And also please pause the video to read the contents that's on the screen. Now that you're in a safe environment, let's click on the show recovery phrase button. Here we presented with two options, 12 words or 24 words for our recovery phrase. For the demo, I'm going to choose 12 words, but for security reasons, I would recommend you choosing 24 words. Grab your piece of paper and write down your recovery phrase on there. For demo purposes, I'll be taking screenshots of the recovery phrases shown on my phone. However, I would like to reiterate, please do not keep a digital copy of your keys because somebody might get access to them and steal your funds. Next, Blockstream Green will do a recovery phrase check to make sure that we've written down our recovery phrase correctly and in the proper order. I'd like to take this opportunity to remind everybody once again to never ever keep a digital copy of your seed phrase. You risk somebody taking your seed phrases and getting access to your Bitcoin. Once somebody else has your seed phrase, they will have access to your Bitcoin and they'll be able to spend it. So please do not keep a digital copy of your seed phrase. Once we finish our seed phrase check, we'll be prompted to set a six digit pin for our wallet. For the purpose of this demo, I'm going to set the pin as one, two, three, four, five, six. Congratulations, we've just created our own Bitcoin wallet. However, before we can spend and receive Bitcoin, we first need to create a Bitcoin account in our wallet. To do that, we'll hit the create account button. Here, we presented with two options, standard or 2FA protected. For ease of use, we'll be using standard today.
Once the account is created, we're ready to receive and send Bitcoin. For the sake of this demo, I've created another wallet in Blockstream Green. And as you can see, I've already deposited some Bitcoin into this wallet. Now let's go back to the wallet that we just created before and see how we can receive Bitcoin. To receive Bitcoin, we simply need to click on the receive button at the bottom right corner of the screen. A QR code will show up along with a string of text beneath it. That's our Bitcoin address. We'll copy this address so that we can share it with someone else. Once we have the Bitcoin address copied, let's go to wallet number two and send some Bitcoin. To do that, we'll click on the send button on the bottom left. To send Bitcoin, we'll first paste the copied address into the text box above. Please make sure to confirm that you've copied and pasted the correct Bitcoin address. This is because all transactions on the Bitcoin network are irreversible. If you pasted the wrong address, then that means the Bitcoin that you sent out cannot be recovered. Therefore, please make sure that you check the address, double check, triple check, quadruple check. One simple way of making sure that you have the right address is to memorize the last four digits of the address you just copied. In this case, it's Y-E-X-K. Once we've confirmed the address, it's time to hit next. On the send BTC screen, we're prompted to enter the amount of Bitcoin that we would like to send. Right underneath, you can see the available balance that's available to send. But for today's demo, I'm going to click Send All. Once we enter the amount of Bitcoin that we want to send, we'll hit Next. Here, we're once again asked to confirm the details of our transaction. The address that we're sending to and the amount of Bitcoin that we're sending. As you can see, there's also something called a network fee at the very bottom. Please disregard that for now. I'll be making another video in the future talking specifically about fees on the Bitcoin network. Once everything is confirmed to be correct, all that's left to do is slide and send at the very bottom. Congratulations, you've just done your first Bitcoin transaction. That wasn't so hard now, was it? As you can see now, in the latest transaction screen, there is now an unconfirmed sending transaction, and the balance of this wallet is now zero. Bitcoin transactions take on average 10 minutes to confirm. Now, let's go back and see if there's a balance showing up on the wallet that we just set up. As you can see, for this wallet, in the latest transaction screen, there is now an unconfirmed receiving transaction. If you want to find out more information about this specific transaction, you can click on the receiving transaction and more information about it will show up in the app. For example, we're shown that the transaction is currently unconfirmed. The address that's receiving the Bitcoin, the amount of Bitcoin that's been sent, 
and waiting to be received and confirmed. We can also add notes to this specific transaction, as well as view this transaction in an explorer. I know this really sounds complicated right now. It is a lot of information, but for now, we'll ignore everything because in the future, I'll be making another video explaining what those things are. For now, pat yourself in the back and congratulations. You now have a Bitcoin wallet and you also know how to receive and send Bitcoin on the Bitcoin network. And there you go. This is how you set up a Bitcoin wallet on your phone using Blockstream Green. Today, we also learned how to receive and send Bitcoin using Blockstream Green. If you have any further questions about Bitcoin or anything else, please leave a comment down below and let me know. Again, thank you for watching today and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.